our sun blows. I'm Alexander Wynn, and this is Slice of Science. Our sun does a lot. It generates radiation from UVA to X-ray, it produces enough light to be seen far outside our solar system, and it's hot enough that even 92 million miles away, the sun's warmth is largely responsible for making our little blue marble habitable. But believe me when I say, it blows. Because in addition to radiation, light, and heat, the sun also spits out a steady stream of supersonic particles that we call solar wind. It's this stream of particles that blows comet tails away from the sun, like a hair model in a wind tunnel. When the solar wind hits Earth's magnetic field, it creates our planet's OG light show, the auroras. Occasionally, these sun-born gales whip up so fantastically that they can kick us right in our delicate electronics. One celestial storm in 1989 hit so hard it took out the entire power grid in Quebec and caused auroras all the way down in Texas. Thanks to scientists' neurotic compulsion to understand everything, space weather is now an ever-growing field of study, and it's changing how we imagine space travel. Someday, a trip to another world might begin with unfurling the sails of your spaceship and riding the solar wind through the vacuum of space like a galleon on the high seas, but hopefully with less scurvy and fewer pirates. <laughs> <laughs>